I'm actually in front of the camera. Um, I haven't been in front of the camera in a while. I don't even know why. Sometimes it's just easier to just grab the stuff and just do it the way it's set up. Um, and that other camera is on my phone and it's always going dead. So it's hard for me to set it up and make sure it's plugged, whatever, you know, excuses, excuses. But here I am. You can see my lovely face um, and actually talk to you. Um, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys and I will probably be going. Um, I'm thinking about going tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or not. I'm trying to be good, but um, there are still some things that I'm looking for. Uh, I'm looking for a lot of the cute, so cute notebooks that are all over Instagram and they have the elastic band that are over them. So cute, so cute. So many different designs. I think there's like six or seven out. I'm looking for those and I'm also looking for all these new stickers that I have seen everybody hauling and all over Instagram. I did find some things that I've been looking for, but I'm still looking for those. Um, there's a couple more things that I would kind of like to find, but, you know, whatever. Those are the main things that I am looking for. So I'm thinking about going tomorrow to one that I haven't been to in a while, but I'm not positive that I want to um, do that or not. So we'll see. Um, but let's just get right into it. Um, we are going to a birthday and um, his mother said that he he's going to be five and his mother said that he loves Paw Patrol and Yokai Watch. I didn't even know what Yokai Watch was, but um, I picked up this little guy and most of the Dollar Trees have actually sold out of these little guys, but this is the Whisper one and I'm just going to put them over here. This one is Noko and I don't know how to say their names, you guys, so I'm probably saying it wrong. This is Wiglin, and he has like 5 million names. So here's his names. Yeah, I don't know. But he does like a little worm, so maybe his name is Wiglin. I don't know. I've never seen the show. And this little rock and roll dude with the two tails. <clears throat> this is his name. He's got a lot of names, too. So... I got those four. I would have gotten every single one of them that they have had, but those were the only four that were at the two Dollar Trees that I went to. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to save that stuff for last. And I think it was, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry I'm reaching. Sorry, but it is what it is. I can't hold everything in this chair with me. Um... <laughs> I kind of went crazy with toothbrushes, and I don't even know why, but I got this, these little toothbrushes for Killian, because they're super tiny, and they still stand up on their own with the little teddy bear. I thought those were really cute, so Killian has eight teeth now, so I need to start brushing his teeth with some baby toothpaste. Um, you know, they make that toothpaste. It's not fluoride. Um, it doesn't have any fluoride in it, but it's for them, and I need to start doing that with him. I just picked up these Colgate ones because they're a three pack for a dollar. That's really, really good. I like the medium bristle and all they had was the soft, but it's fine. Um, I mean, you get three toothbrushes for a dollar and I like that they're all different colors so that me and my husband won't get our toothbrushes mixed up. I think he likes the soft. And then I found this battery operated Monster Ink toothbrush for Tristan and I just thought it was, that was so good. Such a good deal. Um, for a dollar and I, they had a bunch of them so I was happy to find those um, I got some of these these are permanent marker it's from the Jot brand you get a red a purple a blue and a green four pack it's 0 0.4 millimeter tip and they're just such a fine tip for the permanent marker I thought there would be a lot of different ways that I could use those and so I grabbed those I grabbed two of these darn candles because everybody's been hauling them. And I hoarded like a bunch of the blueberry ones and the cinnamon roll ones. But now they have like a cinnamon bun. And I think the cinnamon bun is different. Sorry, this chair is driving me nuts. Um, the cinnamon bun is different than the cinnamon roll. I think those are the two different kinds. I could be wrong. It's cinnamon something, okay? And there, I think there's two different kinds of them. And um, this is just the ones that say mason. So it's the ones in the little mason jar. And these smell really, really good. So these are the strawberries and cream. Um, and they had, you know, the other one, the cranberry. I, I didn't like that one that much. So I got those. Um, let's see. 
I got two bags of my favorite cookies. You guys know I'm a sucker for these, and I haven't gotten them in a long time. You guys, you guys know I haven't hauled these in a while, but I did get two packs of those because those are my guilty pleasure. I love them. I got some carpet. Um, it's called Fresh Sensations Carpet Odor Eliminator. Um, just because no reason really. I mean, we don't have pets or anything like that, but just, you know, sometimes I just like to have our carpet and give it a freshener just because when you walk on a floor, just, I don't want to think about it. I really don't want to think about it, but walking on a floor all the time, I just, I like to freshen it and get some of that down in there. Um, okay. I got some of these. So these are just my, you know, I always repurchase these, these uh, reinforcements. I like these for my Target dollar swap planner in case I don't put washi down in that space. And then these color coding labels for the same thing. So I use these a lot in my Target dollar swap planner. I, I use the little dots in my happy planner sometimes too, but I have stickers for that. But I don't like using my Happy Planner stickers for my Target Dollar Spot Planner, so I usually use those dots, and so I need some more of those. Um, let's see what's in this bag. Oh, finally found these. So, I've seen people hauling these, and I saw them. Um, they're these big magnets. I mean, you see how big they are. They're big. All I see is magic, good vibes only, and they're called inspirational magnets. Kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit, and live the good life. And these are all the four different kinds that they have out right now. So I did pick up all four of those. And then I finally found, and I have been looking for these, the stamps. Now, I got the hello version, the one with the hello and the flowers, which is what everybody's raving about. I like that one a lot. I got the acrylic block for them. And I don't own hardly any stamps. I've gotten some from the Target Dollar Spot. These are the happy birthday ones. And they've made their way down to the, or up, I should say, to the top of the package. But it says, wishing you a very happy birthday. Wish big. Oh, <clears throat> wishing you a fabulous birthday. Celebrate today. And then the little cupcake says baby cakes. Get rid of that terrible glare. Okay, so I got those, and then I got these that are more, you know, it looks like your planner with the little bullet list, and then the remember, and then this little strip right here, and then the little page flag, so I got those. So I got those, and I didn't get any ink because, I, I mean, I have other inks, and I feel like for those tiny little bitty inks, I just, you know, I was just like, whatever, I'll just get the stamps and use the ink that I have. Okay. And I do have a bag in my lab, but we're going to wait. Okay, I also found these. Hadn't seen these, so I was looking for the really, really cute notebooks and all of the designs with the elastic bands around them, and I did not find those, but I did find these. So these are little craft paper notebooks, and they're, ooh, they're shiny and blinding you. This one says, you are amazing, and it has the green chevron at the bottom. It comes with, and I'll open one of them because I'm pretty sure they're all the same. But on the inside, if I can get it open, because certainly I've forgotten how to open package. When you open it on the inside, it has craft paper, and it's not lined. It's just regular craft paper, and then it has white paper. So it's half craft and half white. And I just thought that was so stinking cute. I mean, that's really cute to me. I really like that. So I got the You Are Amazing one. And at the time, I hadn't seen anybody haul these. Um, and the first store I went, I actually passed on these. I don't know why. I don't know what was wrong with me. But I didn't grab them. And then I went back the next day to a different one and got them from that store. This one's the best day ever with the polka dots. And it's, again, the craft paper and the white paper. This one says, hooray for you, with the pink triangles. Again, same same paper. And then this one says, yeah, with the blue little scalloped borders. Super cute. I really like those. Um, not the ones I want, but I do like them. And, I mean, who can't use another notepad? Because, of course, I need another notebook. I mean, you know, I need all of them. I have none. Yeah. Right. Okay. 
Okay, I actually grabbed a lot of these. So I grabbed, and some of the stuff that I did pick up from this Dollar Tree and the stuff that I'm going to show you, you can't see because I used it. Um, not this stuff, but the stuff that I'll show you at the end. Um, I hauled a whole lot more of it, but it was for my um, Wednesday night class, so I've already brought that to them. But it was a bunch of arts and crafts stuff, paints and paint brushes and foam sheets and little foam shapes where they can make stuff that are in our lessons coming up. So I did haul a bunch of that, but that was for church supplies. And so I went ahead and brought it there and I didn't get to do a haul on it. So I just went straight from the store to the church and dropped it all off. But some of it I brought home with me because it's for goodie bags that I didn't want to get messed with um, until it was time to give it to them. So, but I found these and I thought this was a great Fine. So this is the Crayola dry erase and it comes with eight different um, dry erase crayons. So just they're in the neon. So it comes with the pack of crayons and then it comes with the dry erase board as well. And I had got Tristan one when I got a bunch. I got like six of them for the class and then I got Tristan one and I got an, an extra just to keep on hand because I thought they were so amazing. And they're from, um, you know, the Dollar Tree that's big, that's by where I go to church. And then I actually found them at our Dollar Trees, and that's where I got this one. So I went ahead and got another one because that's just too great. And it also comes, the um, the crayon pack comes with a wipe, a cloth that you wipe it off with. And you do have to wipe pretty hard. But, um, but yeah, I just, they're great. The kids have already used the ones that I hauled for the church, and... I love them. Okay, I also got these socks because I can't help it, and I love Dollar Tree socks. This one says, follow your dreams. They're just too cute, and there's a bunch of different kinds, and I didn't get all of them. I think I just bought, I bought these three pairs, so I bought my favorites. This one says, I can't even, and this one says, give me, that's what's on the top that you can't see. It says, give me some more, some more, yeah. Okay, so I got those for myself, and then I got these for Killian because Killian takes off his socks everywhere. When we get into the car, he does anything he can to take off his shoes. If they are tied too tightly for him to actually slip them off or kick them off, he screams until he can get them off. And then he starts laughing because he's so excited to get his shoes off. And then he takes his socks off. So he grabs the toes and pulls them off, and he does it every time. This makes it very difficult because we lose socks when I open the door car door sometimes and I don't even realize that the socks fall out. So I'm always buying him new socks. And I love the Dollar Tree socks. They're thin. He has really fat, fat, like thick feet. And it's really hard to find him shoes that fit him. So they're thin enough to where it doesn't add bulk to his shoes. They're great. And I love them. And these were some that he didn't have. So these just have like the little the yard lines for the football field and these are football and this one is a soccer print and then this one is just it looks like baseball socks where it's just laced up so it kind of reminds me of baseball even though it's really not but it's just little socks that have laces on them and I thought they were really cute so that's four pair for two dollars that's not even bad so yeah then I was watching the purple alphabet and if you if you are a homeschooling mama or a homeschooling daddy or whatever, if your kids are homeschooled or you like to work with your kids and do stuff with them on the weekends that's educational related or whatever, or you know someone that's homeschooled or homeschools their kids or whatever, you need to check out the Purple Alphabets channel. She is absolutely stinking amazing. Okay, I've just recently started watching her videos and I've actually went through her playlist started like hungry for more because she's just so great at giving information. Her videos are very informational but they don't drag on like, like mine because I talk too much. But she just really gives a lot of good information and it's it's cheap. It's, she does things on a budget. She does a lot of Dollar Tree stuff with homeschooling and you know, sensory bins and sensory bottles and busy bags and stuff like that. And she just gives a lot of helpful ideas. Okay, so I was watching one of her videos and you guys have seen me do haul stuff for sensory bins before, but it really just inspired me because she just started talking about all this stuff and I started thinking, hmm, I could probably use this too. And I started thinking of all other things that I could also use. And so then I just, 
I started grabbing a couple of things and I didn't even grab much, but that's the reason is because she, you know, she just really inspired me to go grab some things. So I did get um, this three set of kitchen funnels and I got this for his sensory bin so he can put things in it and it'll fall out of the funnel. Um, you can use lots of different things in sensory bins, rice, beans, noodles. She talks about all three of those, I know, in her video, but those are great because they're noisemakers. And but I use a lot of um, water beads, which uh, for some reason, what does Tristan call them? He calls them something weird. Uh, Orbeez. So Orbeez, um, I can't remember what the Dollar Tree calls them. They're in their little science kits. They have like a hundred of them and they're all different colors and they're the hard plastic little, you know, balls. And then when you add water to them, they absorb and turn into pore beads or water beads or flower gel beads. I think the Dollar Tree also has those in the clear and they come in like a tub that's this big. I use those all the time. Tristan loves them. They feel gushy. They have a really weird feeling to them. They're even fun for me to touch on. And he loves to pour them in and out of things. And it's just, it's a good sensory bin item. So I grabbed funnel. I grabbed some of these little molds. Um, we might make cakes and stuff out of them. Or he might just play with them for his sensory bins. Either way, it'll be fun. Um, so I grabbed those. And then I also grabbed this four little container. Um, you can use these. These are great when you're cooking, but I grabbed them for the sensory bins so that he can have a little spout um, to pour things in and out of. And I got those. Um, and then lastly, before I show you all of the church stuff, and I think there's actually a couple of my things in there too, um, but I did grab these princess stickers. I've seen them before. They have 216 in them. I've seen them before, but these are just so classic and they just remind me of my childhood. And I've been seeing a lot of people do a lot of princess spreads in their planners. And, you know, in my Target Dollar Spot planner, because it's my homeschool planner, I tend to do more cartoony, you know, kid themes in there. But in my happy planner, I kind of like to keep it serious. But some of these princesses, they're just worth it. So I might do a couple of spreads um, just because, I don't know. I've been seeing a couple of people do their spreads, and I really liked them. So it kind of inspired me to, um, I, like, uh, Home with Tanya did a Snow White theme. I really liked that one. Snow White's not my favorite like it is hers, but I do I love Belle, I love Ariel, and I love Cinderella. Those are my three. Um, those are my three favorite ones. I do love Jasmine. I mean, who doesn't love, you know, Aladdin? But as far as princesses go, those three are my favorite. The ball gowns, the pretty, I mean, and who doesn't love a mermaid? I mean, come on. So, anyway, I got those. So, if you see a planner spread with princesses, then that's why. Okay, so there are a couple of things scattered in this bag. I got Tristan's and Blistex because my child, his lips get so dry in the winter and they peel. Like his lips just peel and it's awful. He's doing it since birth. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys this. This, I know we've all been going crazy about it for a really long time. And my nose is itching like crazy. I know we've been going crazy about them for a long time, ever since it came out. Everybody talks about how well it works. It does. I've been using it for a long time. But Killian and Tristan had this too. And I'm sorry, my nose is driving me nuts. Tristan had this too, but Killian has it bad. Like, bad, bad. Like, it looks like he's been burned. He has baby eczema. Now, with Tristan, it's cleared up for the most part. He's four, and every now and then he'll have some dry spots on his skin, like on his back or his sides or whatever, and right here on his arms. But he had it, but not nearly as bad as poor little Killian, and he has it so, so bad. It's severe baby eczema. I do get a prescription cream for it, but... Um, they don't really like for me to use that every single day on his little body. So, um, just, you know, one day it was sitting right there and I've tried everything. I've tried, um, Gold Bond has a really good eczema lotion and it works really good and it, it works okay for him and it worked really, really well for Tristan. So if it's mild, that'll clear it up. 
I've used that kind. I've used a vino. I've used every kind. I've done oatmeal baths. I've done um, extra moisture baths. I've done, I mean, I've done everything and it just does not help. It just keeps coming up, especially with this weather where it's hot and cold and it's cold and it's dry and it, I mean, just awful for his skin. And this is just sitting by the bed because I use it on my elbows and my knees and my legs when I get out of the shower and stuff like that. And I just used it and it just helped. Like a few hours later, I mean, it doesn't take it away. It's not magical, but um, it works really, really well. So if you have eczema or have skin issues and you go to Dollar Tree, you need to look for this because it really, really does help and it really does work. And so I grabbed some more of that and I talked for like two minutes about that, but it really, really does help. And I was glad that I found something that helps. Okay, um, I got some of these little Tiger Pops. There are, um, oh, 10% more products than regular, whatever. Um, there's, I don't know, this is a seven ounce bag. Um, they have the ones with the red and the white, but those just kind of seem nasty. So I just got the regular red. There's 22 pops in here. So I got those. I got a bag of Valentine Nerds, and it's the Strawberry and Punch. I got those. And I got these Paw Patrol gummy. I mean, it looks terrible. But you don't understand how the kids in my classroom for Wednesday night are obsessed with Paw Patrol. Every time we have a break, can we play Paw Patrol? And they pretend to be all the pups. And one of them's Ryder, like, hey, pups, I need you. And they're, like, pretending to be Paw Patrol all the time. And so, yeah, I got that for them. Um, I got these bags, so these little treat bags. It says, I love you because I do. I love all of them, and it comes with the little twist ties on the back. And I got these little pencils to go in there. Um, I got some putty to go in there because what three to four-year-old does not love silly putty or anything it's disgusting? And all of them are boys except for one. So I got that. I got these little spin tops because, I mean, they're three and four years old, so yeah. And I just thought these are so cute. These are just the small versions of the little paddle ball toys, and I thought those would be cute to stick in there. And then I got the whack packs because, duh, they're almost all boys, and these things are actually pretty cool. I actually bought these and have been putting them in friend mail. And then I got some little sharpeners for their pencils. Um, and then I think there's a couple more things in here. Then for them, I just got these stickers. So I got the little monster ones um, for the boys. And then because there is a girl, I did get the girlier ones too, just because she's a girl and I didn't want to give her monsters because I don't have a little girl and I just wanted to be girly. So I got those. And then... The rest is for me. Oh, I also got these scissors, and I did buy more of these than I've already put in the classroom. I was wondering where this pack went, but apparently it was hiding. But I did get these stickers, okay? I think you guys have seen me haul these before. Um, I think I just did a Dollar Tree haul um, and hauled these stickers, but I went and got some more because I didn't see them in any other Dollar Tree, so I got two more packs. I love these. I just think they're so cute, and I don't even know why I'm obsessed with them, but I'm so stinking obsessed with them. And then I also got the little kitties. And again, I told you guys in the last haul when I hauled the other ones, they had fish, and they had something, something else, monkeys, and I almost got the monkey ones. I probably should have, but I was like, well, these remind me of little Lisa Frank cats. That's why I got them, because they just remind me of Lisa Frank cats. It's not that I'm an overly cat person. I mean, I love cats and dogs, but I'm not really into it. But they remind me of Lisa Frank. And then I got these. And I don't know if I have these or not. I might even already have them. But we're going to be learning about transportation soon. So if I do already have them, and the main reason why I got them is because of this little scooter that I think is adorable. And this looks like a VW bus. And my husband works for VW, so Volkswagen. And I'm obsessed with, like, the old VW buses. I want one of those in my life. Like, I I need them. I need an old, old VW bus and an old Beetle. 
but I need the bust more than the beetle. So yeah, I need that. And I really love the little convertible because it just looks like a little squishy little cartoon car and I like it. So I got these, but also if I do already have the pack, then we'll use the other pack, except for maybe the bus because I'll probably steal it. Um, because he's going to be learning about transportation. And Tristan actually has a sticker journal that I made, that I got for him so that he can put his stickers in his own journal. So that is my haul, you guys, and a lot of chit chat along with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button because I love to talk to you guys and I would love for you to be a part of my channel. Um, I really do consider YouTube a kind of family and so I would love it if you joined. Um, also, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help me, you guys. Um, I know I'm guilty of not always hitting that thumbs up button, but it really does help me. Um, and if you like, you can hit the little bell that will alert you if I put up a new video. But I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, or night, whichever one that you're watching this. And as always, you guys, especially from Dollar Tree, happy hauling.